and welcome to 10-5. Today we're going to talk about areas of circles. Uh, our goal is that you'll be able to find the area of circles. So the reason why I put the shield here is because in medieval times, circular shields were usually made from wood that was covered with leather or steel. So in order to figure out how much leather they needed for their wood shield, they had to find the area of the circle. So luckily a guy named Archimedes came up with the formula that the area of a circle, the area of a circle equals pi r squared. So let's talk about how to do this. Okay, so here's another uh, formula to add to your formula page, how to find the area of a circle, and that is right here, pi r squared. Okay, so let's practice. How do we find this? First, we're going to start off by estimating the area of the circle, and we're just going to use 3 for pi. We all know that it's 3.14, 1592, and so on, but to estimate, we can just round it up to, down to 3. So let's practice that. First, we're going to start by writing the formula. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. Okay, so the only thing I need to know is what is r. And if we remember, the radius of a circle is from the center of the circle to the outside. Now, it's just like the spike, the spoke of a bike. There can be many infinite number of radii that go from the center to the outside. So we just need to find one of them. Okay, so in this case, our circle, it is 6. So then I would write the area of our circle equals pi times 6 squared. Now a lot of us, when we see 6 squared, we're going to say the answer to that is 12. Please do not get trapped into doing that. We need to remember our exponents that 6 squared really means 6 times 6. So underneath that, I really want you to write 6 times 6. It doesn't have to be full-sized. It could just be mini-sized so that you get into the idea that, oh yeah, 6 times 6 squared is 6 times 6. Even after having this big discussion at the beginning of the year, I've still seen lots of kids get to exponents and multiply 6 times 2 or whatever the problem may be asking. Okay, so the area of a circle. Now, in this next stage, I'm going to change my pi into a 3. So I'm going to do 3 times, now 6 times 6 is 36. So the area of my circle is going to be 36 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. So the area of my circle is going to be 108. Now this is inches squared. Now you will notice our answer is still going to be squared because we're still talking about area. So the area of my circle, we'll write that again on my circle, equals 108 inches squared. That's how we would write our answer. Let's try, we have lots of examples for this video, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so again, we're gonna estimate the area using three. So, uh-oh, our formula says what, that we have to do the area of a circle is pi r squared, but they gave us the diameter. They went from one side through the center to the other side. So you have to start off by dividing that by two, because really it's the same as there are two radii that add up to a diameter. So if I take 50.4 or 4 tenths divided by 2, I'd get 2 minus 4, 1, 0. 2 goes into 10 five times, bring up my decimal point. I'd get a 0, bring down my 4. 2 goes into 4 twice. So the area of my circle is going to equal pi Ooh, 25 and 2 tenths times 25 and 2 tenths uh, because it's radius squared. Okay, now this is going to get a little bit trickier here, you guys. Um, and because we are estimating 
I see that we're supposed to not do the two tenths. We're just supposed to estimate it to be close to 25. If we were trying to be exact, we would keep 25 and 2 tenths. We know how to multiply decimals, but because they're not having us do that, we'll just kind of find out what is 25 squared. So I have to do 25 times 25, 5 times 5. Uh, I'll do this so our video is a little bit shorter. You can do this on your notebook. Okay, 25 times 25 is 625. Now we're going to replace our pi with a 3, and that's going to equal the area of our circle. So now I have to do what is 3 times 625. Now 3 times 625 equals 1,875. Now on this one we're talking meters. So my answer would be in meters squared. So again, they didn't give us the radius. They gave us the diameter, so we had to take the diameter and divide it by two to get how long the radius of the circle would be. So that was just kind of our added step on top of the other one. And then because the directions say to estimate, we can estimate the 25 and 2 tenths to 25. All right, let's try another one. So now this one they're asking us to be exact, and they're asking us to use this 22 sevenths for pi. That is the closest fraction that they found to equal pi. So you will often see this 22 sevenths used for pi. All right, so let's start again by writing our formula. Area of a circle equals pi r squared. I see they try, they're trying to trick us again and give us the diameter. So if I know the diameter is 14, I'd know half of 14 is 7 inches. Okay, so I would just do 7 squared times pi equals area of my circle. So 7 times 7 is 49 times, and then we have to use 22 sevenths uh, for pi here. Okay, so all I have to do is over 1. So let me, let me try this here quickly. I'm going to erase this so it's kind of the same uh, size. 22 sevenths times 49 over 1, okay? So we're just multiplying the numerators and denominators, but I can simplify. I can divide by 7, divide by 7. So that would make a 1. That would make a 7. So now all I'm doing is 22 times 7. Instead of having to multiply 22 times 49, then divide it by 7, all I have to do is do 22 times 7. So let's do that here. I multiplied it out, I got 154. Okay, so the area of my circle is going to equal 154 inches squared. Okay, now that is our answer for this one. Let's try the next one. The next one's going to get a little trickier. Okay, so again, we always start out. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. This time they did give us the radius from the center to the outside of the circle is 21 centimeters. So the area of the circle is going to be equal pi uh, times 21 squared or 21 one times 21. There we go. Okay, so 21 times 21. Now that's something where we're really are going to be glad that we practice our multiplication facts and how to multiply large numbers. So I'm going to do that on the side. You can do it in your notebook to help yourself remember how to do so. All right, so when I multiply that out, I got 441 times 22 over 7 equals the area of our circle. All right, so here's the deal. If I were you and I got to a problem like this on my assignment, I'd say I'm going to take the time to see does 7 go into 441 because nobody wants to sit here, multiply 22 times 441, then divide by 7. So let's do a, a smaller one and see how it goes. Now 7 goes into 44 six times, and that would be 42. So I have two left over. Oh, yes, there we go. 7 goes into 21 three times. So I can divide by 7 and get a 63. Divide by 7 and get a 1. Now all I have to do is 22 times 63. Instead of multiplying 22 and 441, then dividing it by 7. So 
Let's go 22 times 63 and see what we get. All right, so when I multiplied out right here, I got 1,000. Here my circle is 1,386 centimeters squared. All right. That wasn't too bad. I really thought that one was going to be a doozy, but it really wasn't bad at all. And we have one more problem to try out. All right, so here we have a circular shield, just kind of like the story at the beginning. Uh, it has a diameter of 20 inches, so that means we know that the radius is 10 inches because I just divided my diameter by 2. Uh, we need to find the area of the steel needed to cover one side of the shield. Use 3.14 for pi. Okay, so now we're going to try using a decimal instead of our 22 sevenths as a fraction. So here we go. We'll start by writing the formula. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. Okay, so the area of our circle, we're actually going to do uh, 3.14 times 10 squared. Now we know that 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, so underneath my 10 squared, I can put 100. Now I need to multiply that by 3 and 14 hundredths, or 3.14. Now, if we remember back, if I'm multiplying something by 10, I would move the decimal point one, point one spot to the right. If I'm multiplying something by 100, I'm going to move it two spots to the right. So I could go over here and I could do 3.14 times 100. I'm going to get a bunch of zeros. So when I'm finally multiplying my 1, I'm going to get a 4, a 1, and a 3. Then I need to bring it back two spots. So I'm going to get 314, but if I had just followed my rule of moving it two spots to the right, then I would have been golden. Okay, so the area of a circle, of this circle, particular one, is 314 inches, oops, inches squared. And that, my friends, is all that I have for you today. Area of circles, they really are fun, and it gets us practicing how to follow a formula. And it's a little bit different. It's us using pi, which is great. Uh, this would be a good thing to write down, too, that pi, a lot of times we would uh, use, it doesn't equal, but it's about, so we better use our approximation equal sign. Um, and it's about 22 sevenths or 3 and 14 hundredths. They're never going to make you do 3.141592 and so on because that would take way too long. So we like to kind of cut it off add about two place values at, to the right of the decimal. Anyways, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.